Hi guys, it's Sanya. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the difference between incomplete and complete paraplegia and kind of what that diagnosis means. Because I remember when I was in hospital, I didn't know what complete paraplegic meant and it kept being kind of thrown around and I was never really directly told. I knew in myself that um, I probably wouldn't be able to move. I kind of knew straight away, especially as the weeks went on and they kept monitoring if like a toe moved or whatever and there was absolutely nothing zero out of five power zero out of five sensation they were doing like little pinprick tests and stuff i then came to the conclusion ah oh, complete paraplegic means that it's kind of final there's like nothing you can kind of do so first off incomplete paraplegic means there is a bruise or there is like a little bit of damage and once that bruising then fades that's when people will regain their function and people will start like moving their toes moving everything like that complete paraplegic means the spinal cord's either severed or it's crushed so my spinal cord was crushed from what happened so that meant that the function would never come back basically but they kind of don't tell you that directly I don't know whether it's to not scare people off or if they just don't want to give that final diagnosis if something does come back so for complete paraplegics it's most likely that you will not regain sensation or function two years is when most of the recovery will happen so if you're an incomplete paraplegic you may have a bruised spinal cord and you won't be able to move anything quadriplegic or paraplegic whatever if you're incomplete there is a chance that you will regain function there's even someone that i met who broke their neck and eventually she started being able to move her knee started being able to move her toe started being able to kind of wiggle and feel a bit more and then after a year of recovery she can now stand up and that's great hi rachel if you are watching <laughs> um but I knew that that wouldn't happen to me as the weeks went on. Oh, the thing's dropping. But as the weeks went on, I knew that that wasn't gonna happen to me. I could not feel anything. I was getting the burning neuropathic pain and that was the only sensation I got when they did pinprick tests. I couldn't feel anything. I was marked zero out of five of power and sensation. Whereas like the people next to me may start feeling their toe or feeling something else and I knew that that wouldn't happen to me. Complete paraplegia, it's obviously not a death sentence, but I don't even know if any complete paraplegics have been able to regain anything because I sure haven't regained anything. The only thing that maybe has got better is I can kind of move like this. I'm T12, so very low thoracic spinal cord injury is very low. Yeah, it's the lowest you can get. So I'm able to kind of wiggle and move a little bit. No matter how much I've tried, I cannot move my legs, it's all coming from the hips, that movement there. It's all. And as you can see, there's nothing in my feet anymore. The only way I can move it is to lift. I can't, I cannot move. So if you have been diagnosed with incomplete paraplegic, there's definitely, definitely a lot more hope. It may take a year or so, but it's likely that the sensation will come back because a bruise is just a bruise. If you imagine a bruise on your arm, it doesn't take that long to actually fade and the pain to go and everything. And so if you've got the bruise anywhere, even if it's your spinal cord, that bruise will fade. Complete sever of the spinal cord or a crush like mine from my fall. It's, I don't think you can even regain anything. So, I, my injury was 11th of June 2015, so it's th more than three years. Uh, the best I've maybe got is that um, I can, when I do need the toilet, I am actually warned by these massive bladder spasms. That's not really a good thing, but it means that I can be a bit more free and I self catheterize. I don't have any tubes in me. You know that all got better my bladder is getting stronger and i'm due to get botox as well it's incredibly unlikely that anything will happen unless there's some medical breakthrough i knew straight away as soon as i fell and i couldn't feel my legs and feel my feet i knew i just knew what had happened and i knew that it was going to be a long journey and i was in the hospital for six months and that's kind of normal for a complete 
it actually for completes it can be a lot less. I spent four months in the general hospital because they couldn't find a bed in the spinal unit but for complete paraplegics it's much less than incomplete. So incomplete you may be you know on flat bed rest they'll start trying to preserve you be on flat bed rest for longer and you'll be able to start feeling little little pricks and little little things and then eventually the recovery is a lot longer because you will have to learn to walk again. There are incomplete paraplegics that can walk and that have regained their their function almost not completely but like maybe they just have a bit of a limp as I'm paralyzed T12 but there is nothing that can help me below my hips. There's nothing there anymore and mine's so low but I won't be able to walk. So an incomplete quadriplegic is sometimes better than a complete paraplegic, which is what I am. Um, so yeah, all I can say is just remain hopeful that things will change um, if you are incomplete. If you are a complete paraplegic or a complete quadriplegic, it's terrible, but there's so much to life more than just being in a wheelchair. You can't just sit and do nothing. And I've definitely bounced back after what happened and a lot of people have and there's lots of people worse than me I can't say that I'm terrible because I'm T12 what about T4 what about C3 and C1 or whatever what if you could only move your head and you'd move your wheelchair with your chin imagine being like that I've got all this movement and I've got an amazing family an amazing boyfriend and things get better and I've bounced back from everything um, but yeah, just sending lots of love your way. So watch out for my next video.